The Ditto Spotlight Turret event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Running for this weekend, it's going to give you the opportunity to get yourself a guaranteed 5 IV Pokemon. And we're going to show you the best builds in this video to make this as easy as possible for you in your games. So coinciding with the Samurott 7 Star Terror Raid event happening this weekend, the Ditto event will be running from the 7th of April until the 9th. Of course, as it goes without saying, if you don't go online after the 9th of April, you'll keep this event in your game. So you're going to be able to access this spotlight event until the next time you go online. The 17th Terror Raid Battle event offers a challenge to face a five star Terror Raid battles for Ditto with at least five guaranteed max IV v's each time you capture one and the rest of the details it runs in conjunction with the samurai event so this is a really good event for getting yourself a five iv ditto in particular because it's going to make breeding down pokemon a lot easier and you're going to have a good chance of getting maybe even a six iv ditto because you're always going to have that chance of that sixth stat that isn't guaranteed to be 31 or a perfect iv to be a perfect iv so you can get yourself a perfect flawless ditto in this event which is going to be really really useful also with the other dittos that you're going to be able to use in this event you can use these to trade online with the universal trade code of 4448 4448 and that is the code that you can use to trade dittos with other players from around the world to get yourself a masuda ditto now it's probably a good idea after the weekend's finished after this terror raid event finishes to start trading your five iv dittos and hope that other players around the world will be doing this as well so you can get yourself a five iv masuda method ditto which is going to make breeding for shinies incredibly easy and it's going to pass down all of those ivs as long as you've got a destiny not attached to the ditto so a very good event in general we already covered a bunch of builds on the channel that are going to be good going into this ditto raid but it is going to be get your baby pokemon at the ready because level one pokemon are going to make these raids extremely easy now i did an example earlier in the week on a six star terror raid using a magic carp and you can see there it got one shot the pause and ditto got one shot by our partnering pokemon in the first turn now that's not always going to be the case but it is going to make it very easy for you to go in and just beat these solo in your games so the magic carp here there's not really much preparation to it just make sure it's level one or as low level as possible and it just has the move splash that is going to be all you need there's very little preparation to this raid event and this pokemon is going to be your best friend and like a lot of the comments that we had on our preview video about the magic carp it is going to be king for at least one weekend and this one is going to do a great job for you so and no iv breeding no hyper training no ev training no nothing just get your basic magic cop level one and take it into the ditto raid the ditto will transform into it it's going to be locked into splash it will copy all of your stats other than the hp stats so it will become very weak very quickly and your partnering pokemon are going to be able to deal with it extremely easily you can apply this method to online as well if you'd like to other options you can have something like azuril this will take a little bit more preparation but again you don't need to worry about preparing it with any evs or anything like that just give it the move belly drum and then go into the raid it's going to be another pokemon that's going to be extremely easy to go in and farm these ditto raids with the other option is of course we covered before on the channel is going to be taking your own ditto into the raid because the ditto in the raid will try and imposter you transform into you and then it won't be able to transform after that point so it's going to be stuck as a ditto using transform meaning it's going to be very easy for you and your partnering pokemon to take down because of course you're going to have the ability to transform into one of your partnering pokemon to help out with the damage output in those raids the last one of course we did mention it probably not worth it it is a bit more fun is the synesty and you go for that shell smash there because it does lower the defenses every time that the opposing ditto after it's transformed into synesty uses it it's got the weak armor as well so every time it's hit its defenses are going down so it can be dealt with very quickly especially if you're going into an online situation the only thing with synesty is to get the shell smash you need to be level 60 to get it so there's a little bit of preparation whereas the magic cop you can just go and catch a gyarados or a magic cop anywhere 
breed it down, get yourself a level one. It's very easy and quick to hatch one and you're not going to have much trouble outside of that. But these are the four Pokemon that I would say are going to be the best for this weekend and guaranteeing yourself that five IV ditto or as many of them as you would like as possible. I think the one big thing about this event that's going to be really good and what I will be using it for as well is getting a bunch of dittos with all different natures that are going to make breeding and passing down natures to baby Pokemon or breeding projects that I've got very easy. And remember that these dittos aren't just going to be locked to Scarlet and Violet. In future Pokemon games, you're going to be able to transfer them into Pokemon Home and take them into those 10th gen or other generation Pokemon games and use them for breeding projects in the future, albeit breeding stays in the game, of course. Hopefully it does. But yeah, ditto is a very good one. This event looks very fun. These Pokemon are going to make it very easy for you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below on what Pokemon you'll be taking in or what strategies you'll be using this weekend with the Ditto and what your thoughts are on this raid event and what you'd like to see next for the Spotlight Terror Raid event. I think I'd like to see the, the Blissey one back again because I didn't keep it for as long as I wanted, but we'll see what happens. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon. Do drop a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future Scarlet and Violet content. Take care and bye-bye. <laughs>